Welcome back to Absolutely! My name is Benny, that is Hudson, and we watched episode 6 of She-Hulk and we want to talk to you about it. But first, I have to do the sponsor spiel, and we gotta talk about G-Fuel! Use the code... Comics at checkout. Yeah! To 10% off your G-Fuel. And check out Into the AM, a great t-shirt company that I, I, they came to us, approached us, I got a few of their shirts, and they're super soft, highly recommend, and they do have plain black ones, I, they're all in the wash right now, because I had a friend over for the week, so I just didn't do laundry, so like my entire laundry is just from the entire week, but they're super soft, you can get plain colored ones, you can get the designs on them, all that kinds of stuff, definitely check out Into the AM, and if you want to see behind the scenes stuff, like when I discuss what the naked Little Red Riding Hood statue is all about behind me, uh, check out our YouTube memberships. I'm not going to go into it here. I'm not going to go into it here. I didn't want you to go into it the first time you went into it. But no, no, I know. Why why <laughs> why does that make you feel weird, Hassan? Why why do you not like Why does the, that make you feel No, man, half what you want in your set. It's the 30-minute conversation <laughs> about it that makes me why, feel why, like why, there's why more there. Why are you weirded out? Are you why are you weirded guys, out? Guys, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Go watch that video for the full details on it. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. behind that statue of a naked little red riding hood is a box of tissues. Now no, let's talk it's about gone. She-Hulk. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. There's a new box in front of it now to kind of cover it more. But, <laughs> Benny, I do what do you think of She-Hulk? <laughs> She-Hulk, I liked and hated this episode. Like, yeah. it had its moments. It was funny. It was great. But this was the ultra sitcom episode, even to the point of the reference in the beginning that it's going to be a self-contained wedding episode. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty much just She-Hulk getting on. I found it ultra, and I hate to use the term because no one uses, uses it right at all, but there was very cringy moments with the way they were treating her. And her just kind of backing down to the point where I'm like, this isn't even like fun. Like, I'm not even having fun with this behavior that's happening here. Where they're like, oh, She-Hulk, can you go clean all the, the trash up? Oh, don't hulk up. You're going to show me up. Don't do, you know what I mean? Like, it was just kind of like, and then the dog for her to walk down the aisle. I, I get where they were going with it. They wanted to show how Jen feels and then get into the point of her like expressing how well she is doing. Yeah. I, I didn't enjoy this one that much. You know. I feel like it's weird that we cover the show. Not because it's like, uh, I feel like sometimes when I'm watching it, it's the equivalent of like us covering This Is Us or Young Sheldon yeah. or like something like that. And that feels, uh, I'm not saying, hey, if you, Benny, if you ever want to cover This Is Us, I would love to do that. I've it's never seen This Is Us. It's the most incredible TV drama that's ever existed. Besides okay. the point. Really well written plot. Besides all that, <clears throat> it just feels odd because usually like we're used to like debating the bombastic moments and having and theory crafting. There's no theory to be crafted here. It's just, no. It's just TV. It's just TV, and that's awesome. And I enjoyed the, it for The only was. mystery we have right now, which was brought up again here, is where is Bruce? Because she makes that voicemail. Hey, I haven't spoke to, spoken to you. Blah, blah, right. blah. And, and that's not for the show. No. Bruce went to space. Bruce went on a Sakarian ship, the, the Grandmaster ship, into space to probably square away whatever Hulk did in those movies. And, you know, there has been recent discussions about the Hulk potentially getting a solo movie now. Now, like, there's able to, like, maybe get those wheels to move and rights to be switched over. We'll see. Right? Yeah. So it's potentially just a set, set up for that. Because we're not doing a crossover anytime soon. We don't need Bruce on Earth. Um, so, yeah, it's not... The only through line reference. that is even happening is the group that wants her blood. And we don't know who they are, and they haven't established anything outside of they are attempting it. And they've only tried it twice now. Like, we've, yeah. only, we've only had the, the original... was Not Thunderbolts. Wrecking Crew show up. And then they reference it again here. That's episode six. Which, that means hey, in three episodes, we need to figure out what's going on with Daredevil and the blood. And which, hey, and that's that, it. that being said... It's not really an issue because it's not. We, it's not. It's not at all. It's it's because they're like, not making it a plot point. It's they're not just a like, plot point. It they're just matter. like, hey, remember the blood can make another Hulk. That's all yeah. it is. That's all they're doing. Like, yeah, it's it, it's an interesting show. Like, I like it. I definitely like. You know, when I, I appreciate that it's more TV show vibe. I remember when we were watching Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel hit off to such a great start, but it was so MCU. Like, yeah. not MCU in the sense of like. They're going overboard and there's a beam in the sky, whatever. I mean, like, it's so MCU in the sense of feels very, very high production. Feels like I could be watching in a theater. I would not go watch She-Hulk in a theater. No. I think that that might make it but look I, a little worse because it's already kind of ugly. <laughs> I've, I've already said, though, I consider this like one of my B or C tier sitcoms. It's definitely not yeah. one of my top ones, but it, it is on my list of watching it every week and not for work just because I like to watch so this is it. This is us for me. This is The Good Doctor. And for those of you who watch The Good Doctor... Good Doctor went from being like an A level to like a C level. For me, it's like I will watch it. When For me, I'm this is and the I'm Connors food, and Home, home Economics. I don't know if you watch either one of those. I did. I did way back in the day. They're not terrible, but they're, I don't go out of my way to watch it. But when I'm sitting down and I'm just kind of, I'll, I'll pop on an episode. That's where this is for me. Yeah. 
Can yeah. we also, since there's not much to talk about the episode, let's talk about the MCU fans just need to calm the hell down. The internet blew up not about this episode, not about oh. the cringe moments, not about the, the weird dialogue or her being told she can't She-Hulk and then everyone being excited about She-Hulk, not the fight, not the weird teeth that they put into Titania just to make, oh, she busted her face. None of that. They decided to freak out that Daredevil didn't show up. Yeah. Which, what? <laughs> that was clearly a bit that was intended because they said, oh, did you think this is going to be something else? This is a yeah. self-contained wedding episode. They knew we thought Daredevil was coming in the next episode. And me well, and they Dylan said it talked about episode. it. Yeah, me, Dylan, and Sal talked about it, I think, in the last episode where we were like, yeah, clearly, like, if Daredevil doesn't come in the next episode, that's going to be, like, weird and problematic. At this point, okay, whatever. But like, what I'm saying is, I don't understand, like, the MCU has created a problem for itself, Okay. So 10 years, we get to Endgame. It's all a self-contained giant storyline. They don't deviate from the, st the movie style you know. Every movie is an action-packed, quip-layered, sho shove a cameo in. Since Endgame, the MCU has been trying to change because they have one of the largest franchises in the entire world. So what they're trying to do is branch into different things with it. I just watched a conference where they discussed the future of Assassin's Creed. This is going to be relevant. Don't worry. But they <laughs> discussed the future of Assassin's Creed. And what they said was they feel that the Assassin's Creed franchise can expand into bigger things than another action RPG or another parkour RPG. They can do more stuff. Puzzle games, VR, stuff like that. False. Manga. More Ezio Aditore. Nothing else. <laughs> well, regardless of your opinion on what they should do with the franchise, that was where they stood with it. And I feel the MCU is in that exact same position. Because, and we, as the fans, demanded it. I want a horror movie. I want a sitcom. I want a proper TV show. But now that we're getting it, people are just freaking out because Daredevil's not showing up. Daredevil should be in the Daredevil show. Yeah. You shouldn't be watching She-Hulk waiting for Daredevil. You should be watching She-Hulk to watch She-Hulk. And then when Daredevil shows up, everyone tells you to watch that one episode. Like, that's yeah. how it should be. But everyone's freaking out that She-Hulk, the titular character... Is not being bumped aside for a Daredevil episode. Like no, and and she said that. I mean, it's it's a it's one of those shows that has a liberty of being so, you know, referential and fourth wall breaky that that's been discussed. Like she's saying, this isn't a cameo show, except for this one and this one and this one, and, and it's, yeah. it's it's a bit. So just have fun. God, I that's that's all. If I could say anything to MCU fans that are really upset and really hurt, don't watch what you don't like. Have fun. If the MCU really hits another stride later and you're like, oh, maybe I want to go back and watch it, go back and watch it then. Yeah. Right now, well, that's it's been in a my bit argument. of a lull as far as everyone in the world loving it the way they used to. It's definitely well, it's in a, a lull because they're trying new things. They're doing what we asked. Please give us new things. But now, we're, now everyone's freaking out because it's not what we were used to. Which, hey, hey, that works. You know, I, I talked about it in like, I don't know what video it was forever ago, but the MCU, this is like phase one again. In my yeah. opinion, here's uh, the very first phase with movies, right? We had one movie that was almost a TV show genre bending, and then it kind of wasn't with WandaVision. Then we had, a, we had a TV show that was essentially a movie split into six hours with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Then we had Loki. That was more of a TV show, right? Yeah. They're going to they're gonna make three more of them, and then they're going to dial in on what works, and then we're going to move forward. I, and I think that just have faith in this creative team, and if you want to be upset and hurt about it, then shut up and watch something else, respectfully. Like, get well, over and, it. There's and, so and much I, TV And I watch. agree with that to an extent, because I have that same argument where everyone's always like, going back to the old adage that I hate, but go get what go broke. Then these, these movies and everything do insanely well. And they still want to argue with that. And the argument that I always say is if you don't like something, don't watch it. Don't buy it. Like yeah. wait for a review. Don't go buy it or, or do whatever. And if you don't watch She-Hulk, it won't get a season two, but everyone hate watching She-Hulk. It's going to get a season two. Yeah, like, <laughs> and I think it's, it's it's deserving of a season two, even so far. I, I feel like overall, it's great. I'm liking it. For me, this is yeah. the worst episode, but it's still watchable. I still I would gotta say, watch like, it to get through it. into season two too. They'd have a little bit more money, and they'll be able to finish yeah. correcting the CGI model. Which, like, I'm enjoying the show, but oh, I still can we talk about that, that like real quick on this really episode? Weird that, looking. that was my w worst. Like when she walked up in the dress at the beginning, I was like, oh my god, this is the worst the CG model has gotten. It is yeah. terrible. Like, what were you thinking? It does feel sometimes, at times, like a very early 2000s CGI character in a live How about when show? Lulu hugged her the first time? Oof. It didn't yeah. even, like, she didn't even connect. Like, Yeah, <laughs> it needs work. But again, that's something that they, they're working on a project like this in this kind of budget. Before Smallville came around, there weren't movie, or like, like, 
Smallville was considered on the cutting edge of special effects, right? Clark's super speed, his heat vision, whatever, all the stuff, right? And you look at it now and it's trash, but no, yeah. no one on TV was doing anything of the sort. Oh, now yeah. Now you get, you know, cookie cutter CGI graphics like that of Supergirl flying and Flash running like constantly and, and we're spoiled by it. So we bitch about it when it doesn't necessarily look good, but it takes time to work with the budget that they have for technology to progress more for them to do stuff like this easier and and like you know if they did smallville today do you know how easy it would be to do super speed scenes tom oh, yeah. welling had to slow jog across a whole studio lot and then they sped him up or whatever back then but now i like the flash ones they just put them on treadmills or yep. they have them run in place Which, and you can tell the difference <laughs> and if you look at flash season one they were had a much bigger budget than they would in later seasons you look at that cgi for those runs it's like yep. barry would run and you'd see people in the streets and the cars the glass would break because he's running so fast that glass would break around him now it's like <laughs> it just looks really bad i don't want to get it's into just that. terrible it's terrible it looks terrible it's it's yeah. like comic it looks like a playstation 2 game so expect that it'll get better <laughs> over time um Someone in our chat just said, "I wish they did special or practical effects. It'd be hard to do it. I, I think you could." I, in theory, I still do think the show like, would do better if we just did classic Lou Ferrigno style, not Lou Ferrigno, but we just got a no. brawny woman to be, play the role, and that like that that was the hulking out. I feel like I think it would have been that, better. That could have been in theory like a really good idea, but we we have what we have, and we're we're we're, yeah. where we're at, and I I'm fine with it. I think a lot of the. The criticism, people are very upset about the MCU as a whole and, and Disney yeah, I, as a whole. Like They're not even, they're like, we don't like the MCU. We don't like Disney. We don't like any of this stuff. We want this. But no one's yeah. giving you that. You know, the, the, they'll point out the one DC property that does something okay, but there's 10 more DC properties that have done really, really oh. poorly with their IPs and their DC, characters. DC's so. a totally different discussion. <laughs> it it's, a, it's not even really like Marvel Cinematic Universe and DC are com compared because they're both comic books, but they should not be relevant to each other. I mean... I literally have a DC tattoo here, right? I'm a huge DC fan. I'm a fan of Marvel as well. I consider them both. I always read whatever's the better story. But DC, and I, we, I was talking to somebody about it like two days ago. The fact is, DC doesn't know what the hell they're doing with anything. From yeah. like, there's like two people who know what's going on in the comics. Nobody knows what's happening in the movies. No one knows what's happening in the animation. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all over the place. And at the very least, with Marvel, you have some cohesion. So cry yeah. about it if you guys want to. Be angry about it. Tweet about it every day. Yell about whatever stuff that makes well, you mad that, that doesn't well, align with your I don't want to go into that part of our rant again because we already talked about that in general. But the point I wanted to make by bringing that up is people just need to like get over like daredevil not showing up that's yeah. the point i want to get to like i don't yeah. like getting on and when i wake up yesterday now yesterday i had a friend over so i knew i wasn't going to be able to watch it yesterday like until super late so i expected spoilers hashtag daredevil came up so i'm like all right well let's just go see what it was and all it was is people just hating on the show because daredevil didn't show up a lot of nameless faceless people on tiktok who point at memes or like put text over their face with music in the background were complaining about they're like she hulk's just a bad show they've teased dare hulk 10 times and he hasn't showed up that's really lame of them jeez it's like okay yeah like imagine in the middle of a marvel movie right we're in act one of like spider-man no way home and they're complaining they're like well where's where's toby Maguire? like he was supposed to be in this movie and he's not in this movie that's yeah. what we're doing we're in the middle of act two of a movie essentially of, of a, a long-running narrative and we're complaining about not having gotten things that they said they would give us it's fine it's not supposed to be a daredevil show um I'm excited right. to see. And it that's when the it point comes. of what I want to say. Fun. I don't want us to turn into our usual ranting against people who hate the show because I feel yeah. like every week turns into Hudson going off on people. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, and, and you know what, guys, you deserve it. Okay, no, uh, I can't help it because roll just, it back, I, roll back the hate. I love my reading the comments of these videos. I'm, you know, I have however many million subscribers of my own, and I do my own content. I don't like reading those comments. I don't think they're as relevant. They're not as interesting. They're more of like, haha, this was funny. These are really engaging. So sometimes there yeah. are comment section. There are a couple people who I know you're. I know your handles. Shockvox for one. I read every comment you drop. They're, it's wonderful. You like always share a really interesting opinion. You're always complimenting the cast of it. You, you, you give a critique every now and then, but it's more of like a loving critique rather than a really hateful one. Um, and I think that every now and then maybe I do go a little too far with some of you guys and, and people have grown <laughs> to hate me a little bit, but I'm okay with that because I'm not going to dial back I've grown back to hate you as well. So, I mean, what does it matter? Yeah, no. Benny hates me. He he hired me to, to hate me. I know? hate hired you according to the chat. But all right, Henry. Anyway, <laughs> let's wrap up this review so we can talk about our next topic. I'm Benny. That is Hassan. If you guys enjoy our weekly discussions here, make sure you subscribe. We uh, we talk about basically all the superhero stuff happening in the world, all the rumors, all that kinds of stuff, and would love to have you a part of this family over here. Join up. You can also support us by checking out our two sponsors, G Fuel and Into the AM, and you can also join us more directly by signing up for YouTube memberships so you get to see behind-the-scenes stuff. And Thank guys, you. one final thing. Don't forget... 
It's spelled H A S S A. I've read the comments. H U S I N. H U D S O N. You've lost it. My name isn't everything, guys. H A S S A N. Bye.